Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on roll, keep us Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to yet again another banger video. You dig what I'm saying? So, as you guys can see by the J.I. Galaxy above me, you did. We are in Vader right now, and we got a install video for you guys today. So, not even taking any time to waste. We're getting straight into it. We have a dual dash cam for Vader. Huge shout out to my lovely wife, Joy. You dig what I'm saying? She got this for me for my birthday. So the crazy thing about this dash cam is it has a front facing and a rear facing camera and they both record simultaneously. So with that being said, man, today's video, we will be installing both cameras, going over some of the features and stuff like that. And uh, just seeing like how it is because I've had a dash cam in the past and uh, well, it wasn't the best experience. So with that being said, man, let's get straight into opening up this box and getting into this installation. Hopping straight into it, you pull the sleeve off and you have this nice white box. It opens up, let me let me do it for y'all. So it opens up straight like that. Then in the box, you have the camera to your right. And then you have another white box right here, which has the rear facing camera. So we're gonna pull that out, put it off to the side. I'm gonna pull the main facing camera out first. So this is what it looks like. We've got a screen on the back so you can see everything in real time. We'll leave the protective covering on there for right now. And then this is the mount for the main camera right here. So it has 3M sticky tape. I'm assuming this sticks to the windshield and then the camera mounts up like this. It slides on and stays in position. Then in that small separate white box that I was telling you guys about, you have your power cord for both cameras uh, goes into your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Nice um, length so you won't have to worry about uh, stretching the wires or anything like that. Then you also have the secondary, the rear camera, um, which basically it's kind of cool how this works. So like I told you, you guys earlier in, in the vlog, um, this these cameras actually record simultaneously. So how that works is this is the rear camera right here. It's a little small. And as you guys can see, this little headphone jack looking thing um, goes ahead and actually plugs into the main front facing camera. Um, and I guess that's how they work um, in conjunction with one another. So with all that being said, man, first things first, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and then also they give you uh, interior panel proper and another uh, just in case <laughs> 3M double size sticky tape uh, so with that being said man let's go ahead and get straight into this installation we're gonna start off with the actual mount for the main um, camera so as you guys may or may not know the 2021 Camaro SS1LE actually comes with the PDR so with that PDR you dig what I'm saying you actually have a camera right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the dash cam and I'm gonna mount it up straight right there oh, where shit. the PDR is Tiger. and that way I'll be able to have the camera have the same view as the PDR speaking of PDR I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys Great some Tiger. of the old uh, footage that I got on the PDR right here man so as y'all can see man perfect angle with the PDR so I'm gonna have the dash cam be literally set up right in the same spot just a little bit underneath it that way oh yeah look at that boy Vader eating boy god damn them numbers just skipping like that they just skip anyway back to what I oh wait self incriminate that was in Mexico but anyway like I was saying we're finna go ahead and mount the dash cam turn that off mount the dash cam exactly right there in the same spot as the PDR so you guys saw that view it'll look good all right y'all just like that the front facing camera is already mounted up I feel like this is a perfect positioning for it because as you guys can see steering wheel right here heads-up display right there 
rear view mirror right here and then the camera right there so i feel like literally that's just within perfect sight of you know what i'm saying my drive line it's in perfect vision so that's perfect right, y'all so just hopped in the passenger seat man as you guys can see we got the camera mounted now we're going to be focusing on running this power supply what i'm going to do is i'm going to undo this bond right here and then i'll take the wire and i'll tuck it through this headliner right here and then i'm going to try to run the wire all the way down this weather stripping right here and have it run underneath the glove box because i you guys know me man i like my cars to look stock i like everything to look stock so with that being said i'm trying to keep this oem plus so we're going to try to run this wire all the way up until like right here and then have it go ahead and plug into the cigarette lighter so we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah what's up with it do it because i love it and i stuck with it we ain't with the sub and in the car with it please none the talks i heard enough of it like what you gonna do where you at who you with you ain't really about this don't talk about it really on the move on the map never slip keep your hands to your lips don't talk about it real eyes real lies real lies all the um and now that i think about it y'all i'm actually gonna go ahead and run the wires for the reverse camera as well just so i have that done and out of the way all right y'all so as far as the power wire goes i kind of have it ran already so like i said i ran it tucked it through the headliner i ran it and i tucked it through the headliner and then i tucked it through the a pillar bringing it down through the weather stripping all the way down to right here and then i ran it through the glove box right here tucked it into the center console as best as i could and kind of just went as far back as possible and then plugged it into the cigarette lighter now like i said i'm going to redo the entire process on the driver's side for the power wire for the secondary camera and then we'll mount up the secondary camera and we should be good to turn on the car all right y'all so on the driver's side now just finished wiring the um power cord for the rear camera um it's literally the same exact thing i did on the passenger side i'm gonna tuck it in this weather stripping except i'm gonna be tucking the wire all the way through this body panel right here and then running it all the way to the back of the car connecting it to the rear facing camera and then we should be good to go y'all this is a very rare sighting okay i'm in my back seat right now <laughs> just currently running the wire right now to uh give the camera in the rear power like i told y'all currently got it tucked through the entire body panels now it's time to tuck it through the headliner and uh go ahead and mount up the camera i'm thinking about mounting it like right here directly in the middle that way we don't have any issues all right as y'all can see the camera is now installed the power line is ran it's nice and clean no hanging wires none of that can't see nothing all right y'all so of course they don't give you a memory card and I don't have a micro SD card. I just have regular SD cards such as these. So with that being said, it's not gonna be saving anything, but it's time for the first startup, power it up and see if it does at least show both cameras are working. So, okay, we got light, we got light over there. We got some light over there, okay. Okay, we got some stuff popping up. Okay, please insert SD card. Okay, bet. At least we know it works. Uh, let me pull back this little screen. Okay, so is this? Oh, so that's the back camera right there. So as y'all can see in that top left corner is the back camera and it's currently facing like the dashboard in the rear. So let me go edit that real quick. <laughs> All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, the rear-facing camera is not showing nothing at the moment. And then the front-facing camera still has the plastic covering over the lens. So it's all out of whack right now. But yeah, I definitely need to kind of readjust. I might have to finagle something for the rear-facing camera to get it to work. So y'all bear with me. Let me get these cameras set up, and then uh, we should be good as far as the install many unbearable hours later all right y'all so it's literally been a week i have been waiting for this right here so that i'd be able to use my dash cam and my rear facing dash cam which is back there now that i finally got this joint let's go ahead and throw it back in and we can end this video all right y'all just put the 
SD card in. I'm just gonna put it in accessory mode so that it gets power and we'll make sure it's working. All right, red trigger. Oh, please, what did it say? That's what I said, format or what? I don't even know how to format. How do I? Somebody, oh damn. Y'all, I haven't even gone through like all of these modes, bro. So I, I really didn't even know that these. Hey, shut up, Dirk. I don't need copyright right now. I literally didn't know that it did any of this, bro. Honestly. So y'all are, y'all are getting the first look at this, just like I am. Is it not touchscreen? I don't think it's touchscreen, y'all. Okay, but I don't know how I'm supposed to format this damn. Uh, SD card because I think that's what it's asking me to do bro. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. 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 Here we go Here we go. Okay All that will be deleted. That's cool format that mug ain't nothing on there. Please wait Okay, okay So are we good now? Can we can we just go back home? Okay, I think we straight y'all. I think we good. Yup. There it is now. It's recording as you guys can see that 4K screen, man. I'm trying to make it focus for y'all, but it's trying to focus on the raindrops. But yeah, as y'all can see, we got the main camera facing the front, and then we got the secondary camera facing the rear. Now we protect it. All right, y'all. So now that we got the dash cam installed, got the S micro SD card installed, I did go ahead and get a 256 gigabyte joint just because there's two cameras and it has a, up to 20,000 hours, if I'm not mistaken. So I should I should be good with that. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, Amazon is the best spot to go to for an SD card, a micro SD card, anything like that for a good rate. Now don't mind my hair, y'all ain't never seen your boy like this in a fat minute. All the OG subscribers have in between washes right now well not in between washes but in between hairstyles i washed my hair last night so that's why i saw a lot but without further ado man it's actually gonna close today's video if you guys are new to the channel man hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button man give this video a big thumbs up and you can join the ji squad man with that being said i'll see y'all in the next one peace